Hola, mi amigos. Hey, hey, hey. What's going on with everybody today? You hey, know what hey, time hey. it is. Yep. It's time for us. What's going on, guys? Hi. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I should have shown Ro this first. That's how you look. We're yeah. Ba we're back to the old setup, so yeah. it's kind of like, you know, you know how it goes. Herb, show us your tits. Bell, show us yours, and I'll show you mine. <laughs> yours are more glorious than mine's, my friend. Yep. So, what's going on in the world today? It is now Saturday. <sighs> yeah. It's We were supposed to start a little early, but thanks to Microsoft and their fucking updates on their computers, it's... Whatever. But we gotta go. You going. didn't have to, but that's how it goes. Well, I had to get it out the way for any other future updates, but... I didn't know it was going to take that long. Herb, how is your ribs? Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh oh. Hair is messy. That's what it is. We can talk about my ribs in like a little bit down into the show's hours. Well, it's a short one tonight. I'm about to go do some more filming of Saving the Night vlog. He freaking picked up a bunch of uh, goodies for my camera. I got a couple clip-on lenses for my phone. Got a tripod. Now I can start doing some good time-lapse um, videos and mm -hmm. video everybody chit-chatting and whatnot. And yeah, that is pretty much was my day though for today. And I had fun um, trying to do time-lapse videos. I had fun to just just messing with the camera again and trying to get <laughs> used to it what's up no nothing all right that's good so yeah the plans for today is we're going to review last week's episode hope you guys have enjoyed it and of course we're going to talk about my little situation where i bruised my fucking ribs yeah yep. <sighs> from a skateboarding accident not really an accident but i'm so surprised at what happened but other than that Ro, take it away all right episode 10 that was a pretty good one we had a guest over, my brother Cree Chameleon. Cree Chameleon. That was good. Had a lot of uh, good feedback from viewers. Oh yeah. Uh, online as well as um, personally, people that have told me. So it's like, oh okay, that's good. Um, I do have to make some like corrections on a couple of things that I I talked about. Remember, I couldn't figure out who Pussy Eye was, the yeah. rapper. That's Kirby Dominant. Kirby Dominant. Oh, okay. And then when I uh, asked my brother what his favorite video game was, yeah, I mentioned Ninja Scroll. I meant Ninja Spirit from Turbo Graphics 16. Ah, oh. big mistake. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, that's kind of funny that you brought up the Pussy Eye one because I swear the other night when we were uh, Shurikia, as always, trying to film more for the vlog series, yeah. we uh, had this one dude that spell was like it's Fetty Wap. Look, it's Fetty Wap, and he started covering his eye and all that. I'm like, what? Pussy eye. Yeah, pussy eye. There you go. What's up, Pisces? What's up, the Spell? What's up, Dino? Everybody else in the chat. Thank you for uh, hanging out with us today on Saturday. What is today's date? <laughs> the 24th. <laughs> the 24th of September. Yeah. Yeah. So for, for that, yeah, last week's episode was uh, pretty cool. Sup, pothole. Fuck you, Corey. You bastard <laughs> just because i fell off a fucking skateboard which we'll get into in a second doesn't mean i made a pothole you bastard oh there's joel let's, let's go. go yeah all right That's so what my brother did he fucking nearly blew out my eardrums yelling that all the time uh, um yeah go on, go on. so i guess let's get right to it mcribs what happened oh fuck well anyway so why do I hear somebody talking? Oh, that's my oh, okay. thing. Well, so, so what happened last week, Sunday, was uh, I think it was after Saturday night, uh, Ryan had his board. That's right. He had his board because he was here right after uh, Cree Chameleon left. And pretty much um, I decided the next day because he forgot his board. I was like, I'm going to go ride his skateboard. 
I seen I've been watching Braille skateboarding on YouTube and of course I've been doing um I've seen another video of a dude who's like my weight literally doing fucking tricks like grinds <laughs> and all this other shit and I'm just over here like oh dude if I put in the effort maybe I can do something right like it's a good exercise right so I go ahead and take the penny board and I do have the video clip on my Instagram uh where I'm like just trying to film myself trying to pedal off and I fucking lost balance crashed I don't know how I crashed all I know is I got a gash over here. Um, it's healing up now, but it, and my phone was not damaged, but my phone re managed to record the entire fall. It, some <laughs> people said that I spun. I I don't know. It, <laughs> it looked pretty hard. All I know <laughs> like is like a hard fall. Yeah, all I know is is that it hurt. It's hurt like right around here. It doesn't look like I'm touching my titty or anything. I'm just saying it hurts right around there um so I, I got taken out of work uh, because bruised ribs takes about three weeks to heal but the doctor only gave me this week off wow yeah they're checking the x-rays to make sure there was no hairline fractures or anything like that and i was just like holy shit was and that your first attempt yeah well i mean i rode skateboards before when i was younger right right, right no but that was your first attempt yeah getting on yeah first attempt now. getting on in, in yeah in today's time and it was a failure at this age yeah at this age pretty much and i failed and <laughs> i never went back on it i told ryan take oh, the fucking board no. back you know and then went to work the next day and it wasn't pretty i couldn't lift shit and then i went doctor were you on a slope what do you mean on, on no, a slope or right something in, right in front of my house right in flat? front of my house yeah it was flat yeah, so <laughs> just trying to get my other foot on a penny board which is a lot smaller than a normal board uh wasn't didn't really you say idea. you needed a bigger board yeah i've seen there's different size boards like you can get like a 7.75 or uh, 8 and all that or a 9 inch i would have gone with a 9 inch because it depends on your shoe size uh, that's how it works so mm. 9 inch mm -hmm. would be perfect mm -hmm. for a guy of my size um but you know i'm not gonna run out and buy a skateboard right away since you know that board was right there and all i wanted to do right. was just coast freaking yeah i decided to try and then just when i lift my back leg up uh for kicking and stuff and just when i was gonna <laughs> put it on that's when i lost control fell i believe my elbow like rammed right into my rib get a board for each <laughs> oh, each <geez>. foot <laughs> those would be roller skates if i did uh, in fact, skateboarding did something like yeah. that which i thought was pretty funny get but, roller yeah. blades oh dude i tried roller blades once I, I, bring those back they're still in i believe yeah, I think there's like just hardcore rollerbladers. Yeah, out you just there. don't see them much out in the streets yeah. anymore, like how the how the craze used to be. But not like it still hurts. Not gonna lie, when I try to go to bed and I lay in a certain direction, it fucking is killers. And then you know, I I don't got any medicine for it, so I'm just winging it right now. I, alcohol seems to be the right freaking choice uh, to numb the pain because I when I'm out like throughout this week we try to go film more for the vlog to get to build up enough um snake footage board. herb should try a snake board how about i fucking whack you with a snake board cory no i'm just kidding no i wouldn't um i wouldn't try that anyway like once <laughs> once is enough man like i'm out of work this whole week going back on monday my boss is just like are you sure are you sure and i tell him like dude it still bothers me but i'm gonna be okay so hopefully um hopefully you know hey what's up coca welcome to the podcast <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's supposed coco. to be coco but i say coca man just don't fucking get on any skateboard or rollerblades or nothing with the wheels on <laughs> that means i can't drive what the fuck oh how am i gonna get to places if i can't drive right so yeah that's what happened pretty much i uh, just fucking ate it and luckily i had no fractures but the bruised oh, ribs yeah. suck we aren't as young as we used to be so yeah it's you it can't really sh shit happens like on all honesty shit happens like why not i mean tony hawk how old is fucking tony hawk right but he's been doing it forever though he's never like stopped like he didn't do it when he was young and then like um no you get into there. it now yeah you got a point ryan ska i mean skateboards he's been skating for however long he has and <laughs> you know what i mean it's not it's yeah. not like riding a bike riding a bike you can kind of get on i mean you'll if yeah. it's been a while since you've you know gone on a bike you <laughs> can just hop on <laughs> try some rollerblades herb let's go 
Nah, the only skateboarding I'll ever do now is if you give me that old school skateboarding arcade game where you actually stand on a skateboard. I'll be doing that shit. I used to rock that fucking arcade. Always used to get the highest scores too and shit. Do they still have that? Nah. Nobody has that no, game? Nah, you'll be lucky to find it, but then you're going to have to get it refurbished and all that stuff. Were you well, wearing a helmet? No. Nope. nope. Definitely <laughs> not wearing a helmet. I don't think he knew he was going to fall. <laughs> yeah. That's a, that's something like some people were just <laughs> like, you know, what the fuck were you doing on a skateboard? My mom was giving me shit about being on a skateboard. Yep. She was like, you don't know how to skate. And I'm like, oh, my God, mom, I'm your kid. You should remember that I used to skateboard and all this other stuff. And yeah, it is what it is. Skateboarding is different from like riding a bite or rollerblading, I think. Oh, yeah. No, it truly is. <laughs> Herb's hair is condensed. Uh, is a Considered condensed. a helmet. Oh, considered a helmet yeah and people still think this is a wig <laughs> it amazes me herb our kind has its limits limitations of course our kind has limitations <laughs> i still got to show you that video <laughs> spell i remember i told you about it and you were like ah, show me that video and i'm like all right yeah i'll show you that video i still got to show it to you man it, it, it fascinates me that a guy my size can freaking pull off all these maybe he's limber shit. as fuck that's why he can do it maybe i mean that's the whole point with skateboarding you're using every part of your body so <laughs> and of course when you take those uh crash landings and shit like yeah. your board is still on your foot and you gotta do the van damme splits and shit like ah chewbacca <laughs> it's real chewbacca fuck you Corey. Uh, it is fuck you but yeah that's pretty much the uh situation with me on the skateboard never Make again. ribbing it yeah ne never gonna do it again um l luckily the ribs are still healing but they're still a uh, bothersome and what if a tornado blasted in the middle of the stream oh, um i'm pretty darn sure we're gonna die <laughs> what would i do where would i take cover the bed nah the bed or the desk those are your only two options. Tornado, take me away. There you go. Or you hide in the closet. All that other stuff. I mean, if like, fuck. There was only, what, one incident where a tornado almost hit Hawaii? Like, it, and it would happen. <laughs> <in> <laughs> there would remain the same. <laughs> On a freaking roll. Oh, yeah. Ballers, guys. If you guys haven't checked out the sh TV show Ballers, it uh, features Dwayne The Rock Johnson. It's his TV show. It's about an uh like he's like a financial agent, I guess, for his oh, uh, sports okay. people. Okay. Yeah, it's a really good show. Tomorrow's their season finale. If you guys haven't checked it out yet, you should definitely check it out. The show is just getting better yeah. and better. And I'm just <laughs> like can't wait for the season I finale. I agree, spell. <laughs> you gotta know when to hold them. Kenny you know Rogers. Them. Shit spell at least i tried you're you are at a shop that sells skateboards i don't know if you try or you're just sitting there doodling and shit i don't know that i'm just uh, i'm just saying i know Kenny I still rogers doesn't look as good as he used to i thought that dude died. he looks like he looks pulled oh really yeah i thought he died Looks like a colonel sanders but tanned and like hella pulled tell me what you guys would do if you just got called by jimmy kimmel I would fucking pee in my pants. That'd be amazing. Frick yeah. So one of us would have to take the call, first of all. <laughs> it's Jimmy Kimmel. I don't want to take the call. Somebody else. Who knows? Mm. What would you do, though, honestly, if you did call? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Freak out a little and then, uh, you know... <laughs> see what he has in store for us that is true yeah. right you just want to yeah. know like what made what made you call us today man like oh hey that's he's funny fucking cool yep. yeah that yep. dude he's he's funny and yep. I, i'm surprised that uh, he's still doing his own show instead of having the chance to do uh tonight's show but yeah or late night i mean tonight's show or late night but you know what the choices are made choices are pretty good i never expected jimmy Fa jimmy fallon to do a really good time on a tonight show and he's been doing he's really great. great okay jimmy fallon yeah yeah i think he's my favorite late night tv show how host. did you feel when conan took over tonight show for the six months that he had it i thought he was he did pretty good i mean conan i like too he has like that silly fucking you know humor oh yeah i i, I like him 
Yeah, have you watched his normal? Cool yeah, movie? on TBS. Yeah, yeah every yeah. once in a while, I saw the the one where he went to Korea. Oh, that was oh. funny. North Korea. Yeah, <laughs> well, <laughs> kind of. No, well, they went. They were in that little office or bunker or whatever thing, and then he just walked over. Oh yeah, Conan did get fucked by NBC, but that's in the past now. He was with Glenn from The Walking Dead. Oh yeah, yeah, that was I remember funny. that one. Uh, do you like watching his uh, skits where he's always picking on his uh, employees? No, I haven't watched it. Oh, um, no, I don't think I've seen it. Like he picks yeah. on his executive producer Jordan Schlansky. Oh, and Jordan no. Schlansky is like he's that type of individual where his his office is a mess. But he prefers like clean eating, clean water. He makes sure he drinks a certain amount of ounces of water a day. Mm. He has two different pitchers for two different types of water. Like one is for his coffee, one is purified or some shit. I don't <laughs> know. It's, he's he's weird like that, man. And like he he has a fine uh, taste for Italian stuff, and he prefers the that America should do what the Italians do. What? Like I don't know, like make real coffee or some shit or fucking oh okay be okay. more considerate towards things or whatever it is i don't know it's it, you gotta watch his stuff because he has a bunch and to me jordan slansky uh Schlansky stuff is freaking hilarious but the other one too that he did with his interns was hilarious where i don't he, think i've seen that it's all on youtube you can definitely check it out he did oh he did a skit where he had uh like i think six interns and he was just asking them what's their jobs and stuff and yeah. how, how did they like to work there. And then one of them says, oh, I'm so bored that there's nothing to do that I start fixing the sugar packets. Out of out of anything to do, she she starts fixing the sugar packets while Conan, oh. is, Conan is like, you mean this? And it's all messy, right? And then she's like, yeah. And then she just he throws literally it. starts oh. fixing it. Wow. And he's like looking and then he goes, stop. There's a, there's a medicine for that. You know <laughs> what I mean? Like for what, for her shit. And it's pretty funny, man. Well, so it's a definite um it's a definite thing to check out if you conan haven't. when he plays the game video games that's funny oh yeah the clueless gamer yeah it's that like, was funny i'll do this you press all the buttons that was funny when he played it with seth rogan and uh um zach efron and the oh, loser yeah. gets a penis drawn on his face oh yeah and then they had like a little guide like you know what's acceptable what's yeah. an acceptable penis it was up track lizard yeah Oh yeah, that, I remember that. That one is funny. I <laughs> like I like it cuz it's like uh what did Seth Rogen do? Oh, like put a penis and like make like put like some stuff coming down to make it look like you went to prison. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh yeah, like a teardrop yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I, I see, that one is funny as heck. But the, someone asked about your equipment, man. Uh what equipment do you guys use if you don't mind me asking? Mics, cameras, etc. Right now for my camera it's the built-in uh camera in the laptop for rose camera it's a logitech hd 720p camera one of the basic ones you can get for like 35 bucks um we also have a behringer two channel mixing board two condenser mics hey what's up visual how you doing oh visual two condenser mics haven't seen that name in a while two um two mic you know arm mic arms and that's pretty much it for the equipment mm. wise if you need anything else like i don't know there's a bunch of stuff that you can get if you want to change up your, the, your equipment and all that i mean eventually i will change everything out right now i'm working on getting equipment for what i need for filming wise because i'm starting to be inspired to want to create more um not gonna, <laughs> i'm not gonna lie things like um things like doing the podcast and editing and stuff kind of pushed me to want to try to push my creative level a little bit higher so i've been trying to come up with things lately on what to do um spell has been doing great like he watches me edit then he's like what about this part i'll put this part in even though we have enough footage to just create a normal vlog uh, we're trying to gather as much as we can and we're just making highlights to get the hype up um once you get the hype up then we're gonna try um start pulling out all yeah. the vlog series uh, which is something that has to be consistent, but at the same That's time, not my is that my sister? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm her. I'm her. her whatever. No, okay. no relation. So what's going on now is like it kind of inspired me to also like I need to go back to the gym. I always keep going on and off, but this time I, c I have what I need for filming. Like in this bag here, I have some clip on um, <laughs> some clip on lenses. penises. Yes, that. 
This is uh, some clip-on lenses. You can get at Walmart for like seven bucks. Comes with a uh, wide shot, macro. I don't even know. What the I don't even know what the fuck the macro does. And then of course the fisheye lens. So these are um, something that are useful. But the problem with that is I have to take my phone case off just to get the full feature of that. There was a shooting around the corner of Dragon Upstairs. Yeah, I heard about that, dude. <laughs> Shake weights. Is that the thing? It's like that. Yeah. Shake weights is like. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Did you guys see that um, when Simon Rex was on Vine and he was like doing the shake weights and he, he was that gay character of his, his gay twin brother. Uh. And he's like, he brings up the shake weights and he goes, the he spits on it <laughs> i was like that's so fucked up fucking simon rex uh, from mtv hysterical from mtv to crackhead now nah, i don't even know what dude that guy he's does. funny i mean i didn't really care for him when he was on mtv but he's funny as fuck now that's cool yeah so yeah. so that's uh that's what's been going on i guess you know just trying to get shit together because i do want to create more stuff and try to find more opportunities to do things uh for the name itself saving the night and, and saving the night radio so it's kind of um there's going to be some ventures as soon as i get word um i will talk to you about it later on um all right it's uh i don't know how to describe it right now but it's uh yeah just stick around guys and keep uh keep in touch with us uh, over here on the podcast and of course you can always hit us up on twitter at stn radio or follow us on instagram at stn radio for all updates in regards to what is up with us daily wise if you guys are wondering what's going on so yeah i don't really do much on on my social media account so it's not gonna <laughs> well not very exciting so it's the it, the thing with saving the night you know like this has so many meanings to me it's what spell said good times great company yeah and that's the whole point and like what what i've been trying to share not only with the highlights but of, and of course what spell's been doing for the saving the night vlog series side it's um what i want to share and i'm hoping that we all can get along in this is like we're just sharing what we're doing even if it's like if you're doing studying or if you're watching a really good movie or if you're sitting in your car because you got nothing to do just you know share share what you're doing because we want to show everybody you know we're humans too of course obviously duh, i shoot myself right now i'm dead and like fucking we just like to have a good time no matter what we're doing even if it's by ourselves or if it's with a group of people yeah you know what i mean it's that's the whole point of saving the night man is just uh, have fun yep good times great company oh uh, yeah 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 <laughs> so yeah you already uh, did your corrections yep we talked about creed yeah which is funny as heck because next week you're busy and um chris invited me to do his music video cool and, and i'm just over here like i remember the last time we did your music video it was me you and ryan and where the fuck were we we, we were, went to the skate park and like all that stuff yeah we were in the back they were all the way filming we were in the back high as a mother yeah just as like when are, we, when are <laughs> yeah. we going to the bar and then we somehow ended up at magoo's at 11 in the freaking morning the yeah. most awkwardest time to go to a bar it's horrible uh, that was pretty low <laughs> that was pretty low yeah th <laughs> that's just funny to me back then yeah. but you know it's all good i can yeah. i can't quite though because my daughters need healthy daddy and get dizzy after a run in the park yeah you gotta stay fit man for kids oh my god dude kids it's, alone it's hard running after them kids alone is a workout man mm -hmm. like that's you don't want excess weight <laughs> <laughs> you'll you'll get that fucking uh, cardio workout in dude i remember when ryan had a restaurant and rowena was there with her daughter her daughter was uh i think eight at that time and mm -hmm. she she kind of knew me and i was playing i was playing with the daughter while rowena was just chilling and like oh my god chasing after her, i just stopped one second and i'm like <laughs> if i was with this girl 24 7 i'd be a skinny motherfucker right now but i had fun i love the daughter now she's you know she's on her way to college good for you darylin and uh, wow yeah so it's it's cool too bad i it's it's kind of sad though because i never got to be a part of a 
the key parts of her life where she you know her graduation in high school and yeah having been to a lot of her birthdays and it, it's 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 sad but we have different lives me and rowena so you know it's just it is what it is but she's always going to be a dear friend of mine so yeah yep yep so what are you expecting for tonight well i don't know what to expect you know, i'm not sure well <laughs> well what we what know spell that? is down we just don't know what's going on with ryan yeah ryan is in a situation right now and we just don't know okay well let's see um okay it's time to get serious this is the serious bit okay so i've thought about it long and hard um and i think this should have been done earlier so let's do this sooner rather than later um so it's like with a heavy heart that this will be my last episode with saving the night radio i am saying goodbye i'm stepping away i think um i think it's best that i just do it this way uh it's been fun i had fun with everybody but i think um if i do decide to do continue with the podcasting thing that i've always wanted to do i'll do it like on my own on my own terms i mean we'll just see what happens no regrets it's just different directions different ideas um and i think uh it's best to just go at it alone i will send you good luck herb with saving the night radio and and the vlog or whatever however you're gonna do it but um yeah this is so this is peace out so what i kind of knew it was gonna happen yeah but what uh what gave you that urge to you know step away um well for me it's like uh i don't think we had a clear idea on how it was going and it could have been partly due to my fault or whatever but um i think if i were to do it i'd do it on my own terms like um and what is your own terms though just like whatever i want to talk about but that's what's i always ask what do you want to talk yeah, about yeah yeah but I, I think it's better to just like end it now and and that'll be that i'll catch you guys on an at another life so Ro will no longer be a part of saving the night radio which yeah. means saving the night radio my saturdays are free again yeah i can go back dating jessica and then work that out continue doing what you do yeah that's and she's already packing up her stuff and that's like uh and the, the logo is good spell i give you um uh i give you props on that that's that's really so good. is this does this mean you're not coming out with us then tonight yeah you're not no all right then you heard it here guys so i guess i'll probably see you when i see you then in another life so that means i'm not gonna see this woman anymore yeah pretty much yeah that's been fun thank you everyone it's been good i had fun and i hope you enjoy and continue to follow saving the night radio and and the vlog series i wish them well all righty then <laughs> it's only been 38 minutes Ah, uh, well, but she's already packed up and ready to go, guys. She's probably got something to do. So I'm going to go ahead and end the podcast here, guys. Um, saving the night. Radio. It's been fun. But, of course, we still got the blogs and stuff like that. We still got everything to take care of. So, yeah, this is a short one tonight, guys. And, uh, yeah, um, I'll see you guys next time then. Laters.